Okay, today we're going to show you how to make a class blog using blogger.com. You need a Google account. If you don't have one, it's okay. You can create one. Just click get started. If you have one, go ahead and sign in. So if you haven't won, this is where it's going to take you. You fill out this basic information and at the bottom you click continue. Simple enough. Once you've done that, it's going to ask you to name your blog. So give it a title. Don't worry, you can change the title whenever you want. So if you make a typo, it's all right. And the blog address URL also, that can be changed in the settings. So don't worry about it. So just type one in that you like as a check for the availability. After that, you're going to go and put in the word verification. So here we go. I'm just going to type that in there. Oops, I, I think I may have messed up there. There we go. There we go. And click continue. Now it's going to bring you right to a template. Again, you don't have to pour hours looking over which template you like. Just pick one and move on. You can always change the template later on. And the design too, of course. Um, so I'm just going to pick that one and click continue. And it says my blog's been created. So let's click start blogging and let me show you how to post. Um, as you see at the very top there, you have your menu bar, posting, comments, settings, design, monetize, stats, all that stuff. Uh, posting obviously will let you post your blog. Give it a title. Um, I'm just going to put IT Babel is, uh, here is proper English, the best. Okay. And uh, you just type in what you want to type in here. And then when you're done at the bottom left, you'll see that says publish post. And, you know, you can do that. but you also have some some features that Blogger offers you. You have some options uh, if you like. Um, also, you can see up at the where it says Edit HTML up in the and on the right side there, and the, towards the top. So you can actually look at the HTML and edit it, customize it how you like. Um, so here, post options. Um, as you can see, you get reader comments, edit HTML, line breaks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. One thing that you might be interested in is post date and time. You can actually schedule your posts. So if you have like a post that you want the kids to respond to, you can put that up there like a week in advance and they won't see it until uh, it actually posts. So I'm going to click publish post and voila, I'm done. Now, if I want to, I can click view post and that'll take me to the actual blog site. I'm not going to do that right now. Right now, I am going to show you about the well about the design. If you click design, uh, because you might want to change it. As you can see, you have you can add widgets, you can you can rearrange some things, or you can hit template designer and change the whole theme of the design. Now let's add some students to the blog. If you click settings at the top, you have loads and loads and loads of choices under there. Um, but what we're going to do is on the right hand side, I'm going to highlight it here for you. There's one called permissions and that's what we want. There it is. Permissions. Go ahead and click that. And from here, we're going to be able to add authors. Now WordPress, you have authors and contributors and editors. And here you have authors and administrators and that's it. So you can add authors. Authors are able to post, um, edit their own post, pretty much that. So you just type in the email address. It doesn't have to be a Google account. It'll send them an email. If they want to sign up, they have to create a Google account, though. That is the only catch. Unlike WordPress, where it can be any email that will sign them up. Yeah, here you need a Google account or a Gmail. So I'm going to go ahead and type my two in there, and I'm going to click Invite. And what's really nice about Blogger is you get to see uh, your invitations right there and when they accept it's going to show up right there in a new box below add the authors and once you've got your authors you're ready to to start blogging so i hope you've enjoyed it that's pretty much the basics uh, if you have any questions leave a comment on itbabble.com thanks for watching